Five one Vrushkan, and yes, as you can see, I am going to try out unranked um, Lost Tina with Bennett EX with a little Bennett as well. So Bennett EX um, for one energy it will do thirty damage, and then your opponent cannot use item cards their ne next turn. All right, so no rare candies, no mirage gates, no super rods, no superior energy retrievals, nothing. All right, no switching, no nothing. It will lock your opponent out until you're ready to go knock out, knock out, knock out. Okay, um, you're using two scrivets. This pinet here, this one actually uh, can put itself, you put a support back into from your disco pole into your hand or your deck, and then you can shuffle this and you strip uh, it, whatever you want to call it, uh, into the loss zone. So you actually can put two cards straight into the loss zone. They can fix your numbers. You could put an attachment onto this and then doing that could send three cards to the loss zone. So it's really good. I wish I'd thought it to use this in uh, URC. Um, I'll just use the normal Tina deck. I should have just used this. I didn't think of it at the time. But I wish I did now. So we're still using set one stable of Cram, Greninja, Manaphy, Comfy, Grin and Giratina. We've got some courses, Boss, Roxanne, Mirage Gates, Prime Catcher. It's a very good one. Tempo Sinner to shut down Jet Energies and stuff like that and Mist Energy. Artisan to find our Pokemon and plenty of Energies and Jets. So... Let's see how we do on rank. Don't forget to comment down below and what you think of that deck and what you think of EUIC. And are you going to be trying out some new decks and stuff like that? See you in the next part. See you. All right, so let's see what we get here. So we have got a comfy and we've got a uh, strip it. So we're going to put the strip it down as well. Um, it's such a good attacker. And this, um, once you do your turn, you may put a support from your disco part into your hand. And then if you do, this goes into the loss zone so you can literally if you use a chorus so i use chorus this turn right and i don't have a talk chorus for next turn what i could do is use evolve this use its ability put it into the loss zone to add an extra two into the loss zone bring back the chorus do another two it's fantastic actually it's genius i didn't i can't believe i didn't think of it sooner Right, let's fill out the deck a little bit more. Actually, no, I might get one of these because I can might be able to find a buddy buddy puffin. So I'm going to do a chorus. Oh, I'm definitely having that. Oh, I'm really? Uh, I'll take that. Right, because I might want the energy thingy bob. So let's just see what we get here. A Mirage Gate and a Jet Energy. I think I'm going to take the Jet because um, I've already thrown away quite a bit of energy straight away. Uh, what do we want to do? So we're already at three. Uh, I'm just going to attach and pass. I did want to attack this turn, but it's fine. Uh, so I can evolve into the Bennett. Oh, what did I put the energy? Did it say all the stuff for sure? And then shove this into the deck, discard all cards from this. Yeah, so maybe I could do item lock here. Wouldn't item lock be better than having the Bennett, maybe? Uh, hand in. I shouldn't have put the energy on there now. I should have just used the... Right, so they're going to get three cards. So this is Tinkerton. I did see this at uh, UIC. Um... I did see somebody playing this. Um, I don't know if he won, though. He was next to me. Um, but he, he was... I think he was playing the Dunsparce version. He was definitely using Tinkerton EX. But if he's using the Dunsparce version, I couldn't tell you. Uh, Dunsparce is actually really broken. So, yeah. Here comes the Tinkerton. Uh, that's bad. Oh, that's bad. Bad. Okay. Well, I need to do Arson next turn. Put the Bennett up front. Um, he's going to just obliterate everything now.
it's 150. So he's doing straight up 150 at the minute. So I'm going to have to do this. Find a comfy. Yeah. I would like another super, but it's fine. I can always find that with something else. Then I can go for this. Then I can... Offering the pop, uh, puppet offering, so I can get the chorus back. Then that puts that to there. I can put the comfy back up. I can do a chorus now and find all... Oh, be that and that because I've got one there and what should I throw away uh, Comfy. okay so I've got a good ninja now I have got a Tina uh, you can Tina could just wipe that out so let's just do that um, then I could do probably a flower selecting. I'm already eight now. So let's do a flower selecting. I knew it was going to be a psychic energy. I knew it was going to be an energy in general. Um, I really did. So we've got one energy in there. So let's put some more in there. And we're going to get rid of the jet. Well, I'm catcher. That could be useful. Take out the other tinker ton. Tinker tink. And um, I am going to also like one line at the minute and the last line eight. I can't go to eight again yet. So let's just do another two of it. Um then I could do prime catch and catch that up. So I just juice this up. Um, I don't really want to use the prime catcher. Um, so let's just get rid of one of the tinker tons. I don't want to use the jet either, though. Let's just do a catcher and get that. Then use a switch to get you. Maybe I could have. Oh no, we don't have water. Energy in this deck, so we can't use that. All right, and then we can just do um, this. Take that out. That gives us a prize. Okay, so we've got Pokey. So we can find another chorus, and then we'll be at ten. Um, that Bonnet is just sick. I just love it. I think it's fantastic. Um, yeah, I really wish I played this. I probably would. I would have just gone to town and everyone i just think think about this lovely pokemon and he is one of my favorites as well i love ghost pokemon and gengar Burnett. they're just so cool and do you know the story about Burnett? look it up it's really interesting how it become it how uh, Burnett apparently came to life as a puppet it was a, well it weren't a puppet it was a doll and it was um it was loved and then it was left behind and then over a long period of time it transformed from sadness into the Burnett EX. It's kind of weird like that. Um, yeah. Now that's interesting because now we could actually start wrecking them. This Tinkerton now with the Prime Catcher. So we could actually get to it if we get the Chorus. And we did. That's incredible. Definitely want that. Don't need fossil stone anymore. We need that. Um, and then do we need to get another screw it down? No. Uh, I might take the comfy actually. Okay. And that's ten now. Uh, and then I could probably find a stabilite. Lovely. I'm loving this deck. Oh, I am big time, big, big, big time loving this deck. Right, I am also going to ooh, 
chorus. Uh, Mirage Gate. So I need another Psychic in the Grass. So I'm going to put the Psychic in the Grass here. Okay. And I've got the Jets as well. I didn't actually... No, I did need to put... Did I? Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to put that there as well. Then... They haven't got a big hand, so that's a bit annoying. I don't want to do a Greninja yet. I could attack this, but I don't want to. I want to Prime Catcher this up, put you up. Then I could just do Star Wrecking them. And I'm not going to put any energies up. And there goes a Tinker Tail, and that's two prizes there straight away. Instant delete. Ah, loving this. I am... Um, Oh, I should have used this. I really should have used this. I mean, I think it probably would have won. Um, so, if you didn't watch the final at the UIC in London. Um, oh, what's his name again? Um, uh, Isaiah Bradner, right? Isaiah Bradner. His first match against Talk, he had a really bad start. And Talk had everything when he started. He literally had the fact the perfect start. And he, he was just playing catch up from there. Um he played and then the second match he actually set up really well. But then it kind of dwindled off and then talk just took over. Um but it was very close. And I think if the right if he just got the right hand, Isaiah, he would have won. I mean, I'm a big fan of Talk, and I'm a big fan of Isaiah, and a lot of the, you know, the big stars are actually, big players that actually got to the final are some of my favourites, and some of them just incredible decks, but, yeah, this, this is disgusting, I need this, and did he just do, you cheeky bleeder, right, what do I, I'm going to do a flower selecting, you, how did he do that? Oh, bloody lightning. Right, okay, so we need you. Then we need to do a super rod. And then we need to put, I think, um, that in. Um, I'm going to do a flower select in before I do anything. Uh, oh, really? All right. Um, yeah, it's fine two grass in there now. I didn't want to put them grasses in there, but it is what it is. Um, and then I could just rock sand. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Let's put energy, the boss. I've got two, two in there. So we could draw and see if we can find a super rod. I ain't throwing one away. Oh dear. Seriously? Right, I need to find the other super rod. We've got a switch as well. So we're going to have to do the switch. And we're actually going to do the stable eye. And I am going to. Uh, 40, 20, 30, 30. Go on. Then if you don't put a Jirachi down, the other Jirachi, you're going to lose. That's a psychic energy. I really like the energy count on this as well. I just... Oh, I mean, I do wish we had water energy and I could have greninja the hell out of them. But... This is disgusting. I really wish I used this now. It's so good. Oh, that's fine. Well, there's the Guillotina. I only have to take out one card, so I could probably do it with the Binet and lock them out. Uh, they're probably going to get a Tinkerton next, though. I just need to gust something up. If he gets head, double heads again, I'll be like, 
He mm. got that was so lucky. I mean, it's cool that you can one shot at anything, and if you knock it out, it's free prizes. But it's just one of them, just crazy, crazy, crazy. Um, and I am actually going to do a bonnet just for for the fun. And I'm going to do the. It could be 360 apparently. One trainer, two trainer, three trainer, four, five. You didn't let me count. He gets three cards anyway, but we won. But yeah, this deck is disgusting. Comment down below. What do you think about this deck? It's disgusting. I've got to go to another match and I'll see you there. So, second match. And as you saw from the last one, this deck is disgusting. I am so gutted I didn't think about using this. I lost. I used normal Lost Tina with Iron Leaves and I should have just used this. I really should have because I think I've got some shoe bits as well. I needed to get, you know, the two, a Binet and a Binet EX. And that's the only thing I was probably missing. Yeah, it was. That is the only thing I was missing in that, to having this deck. And I'm tempted to actually get it. This Binet is awesome. But I bet any money it's gone up in price now at both of these. Um, but I'm still thinking about having it though. Right, so we've got a chorus, which can help us find, let's see, we definitely need that. I would like to use the cram. Right, sorry about that. Uh, so I just lost two Mirage Gates because I couldn't choose. <laughs> right. Okay, so we've got a flower select in here. Mm. No. So I had to. Uh, Somebody came to the door and I had to sign soon. And it was actually the cards that I asked to be delivered last week before I went to London. Yeah. Not too happy about that. Um, I can't really do much else. Right. I can't believe oh, I ran out of time and I couldn't choose the. Yeah. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Um. Yeah. So what I ordered, and it was supposed to have been delivered within two days, uh, and it's supposed to be delivered on the Wednesday before I driven to London on the Thursday and fourth, and it didn't get delivered. I even paid extra for it to be delivered. And it only got delivered now. So it's Monday now. So it is five days late after I paid extra for it to be delivered within two days. And it was the uh, Paldeo Fates Charmeleons, two of them. And yeah, that stopped me in my tracks, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah, make sure you get the cards you really need before the tournament. <clears throat> make sure. Um yeah. It's, it's nightmarish sometimes when you need to get certain cards and I even looked for them like in other places and I couldn't find it anywhere. And because it's Pale Day of Fates, it's a little bit more Right, okay, so you're gonna put that up. Then what? I might throw it in a minute, and I wish I actually had a screw of it there. I mean, um, it's only two buddy puffins. That's why I'm not finding any. Ah, thirty there. You can't attack this turn though, which is thankfully. So I can go to. Five, six, six this turn. So we're doing another chorus. Well, okay, so I got rid of that and. Oh my god. I've got a super rod there. That. I can't lose all of this energy. It's going to have to be that and that. Right, so that's five now. I can bench you. 
Um, I have the following to off here. Screw it, which is cool. Uh, we're gonna put an energy. Oh no, I didn't. Maybe we shouldn't have. Yeah. Uh, yesterday. Let's knock this out so it's not another Tarina there because I definitely do not want that around. Right, Fossil Stone. I definitely need to do uh, Lost Star Reckonum. I had a really bad start there for a second. I don't know. The, the two Buddy Buddy Poffins in this deck really does make it hard. I mean, I had four free in my deck. Uh, that I use at UIC, and every turn, first, literally every time I went first or second, every match, I had at least one Buddy Buddy Puffin and one Nest Ball. And uh, that was every single match I played. That starting hand was Buddy Buddy Puffin and a Nest Ball. And sometimes I'd even have a double Buddy Buddy Puffin, and I'd have full Pokemon, six Pokemon in play, turn one. Um, which is awesome to get set up, depending on what you're playing against, that is. Right, you can use Bouquet Magic, because he's already used Superior Energy Retrieval. Countercatcher the... that, that's a problem. Didn't see that coming. <laughs> right, okay, he's going to really go to town on me now. Right. Okay. Uh, you're weak to fire. Is the Tina needed? Or with Screw It, it's going to be what needed as more. I definitely need to have that. I've got Screw It as well. I need to get. I'm at six. Now you're giving the buddy buddy path in, but do I want the extra comfits? I probably do actually. So I'll get the extra two comfits. Actually, no, extra one of these. Uh, yeah. Then I'm going to jet this up. Do a flash select him first, see if I could find something useful. Totally dealing with that actual counter catcher, though, to be fair. It's fine. Uh, done that, done that, done that. Let's make some space. Huh. Never punished by the looks of it. Right. So we definitely need you. Actually, although. If we're going to do Bennett, we're going to actually get to back. Didn't we have a trainer in? Oh, I didn't do... Never mind, eh? So we're at 12 now. So we have got something here. Uh, and I've done an attachment, which is really annoying. Um, what do I want? What do I want? What do I want? Can't evolve. Can't do that. Can't do that. Let's do a retreat. Go into this. Spit at it. Right. I messed up with that Burnett. I should have done. Put a chorus. Use the chorus. Then put it back. 
now I got rid of a chorus and now I'm two choruses down. Yeah. Wait, it didn't allow me to put the choruses back in. Once you return, you, you, you may put a support. I, I did. Hmm. No, wait, did it put it? He did put it back in my hand. Right. Okay. That's fine. I've got one chorus left. I've got Roxanne somewhere and some bosses. I have filled my lost zone so quickly. It is disgusting. Right, I need to find a Mirage Gate. Right, I have really messed up in this match, made mistakes, but I'm still learning how to play this version of Tina. I mean, I know how to play Tina. Uh, it was actually my first deck I ever used in real life, was Lost Tina. Um, and I thought it'd be suitable for me to use it at my first international. I just wish I'd used the Burnett version <laughs> that Isaiah used. So he can one-shot this. All right, he can kill this cram. No problem. And he has got dark energy, which makes me think he's using Neuvern EX. If he's using dark energy, he's going to. It's blatantly he's going to. 30. Unless he's got a boss, but he's using Arvid. Right. Just knock out the crab. Go to three. Then I can comfy. Find something I need. Like a mirage gate or something. Right. Yeah. There's a bonnet and there's a thingy bob. So we need that. We need that. We definitely need this. All right, let's do this. Uh, that, definitely. Um, I don't want a jet yet, so... And I don't want to put an artisan down, but it might actually help me look through my deck. Um, I've got some energies. Oh, there's a box down. Right, okay. I have a jet and a psychic. They have a big hand there. I could one shot that with a bonnet, to be fair. But then if they do bouquet magic, mm, Star Reckon, I could knock it out for clean. But I might need to use that against Tarina. So. Uh. I've got to find a Mirage Gate somewhere. I've got Psychic Energy there. I've got Psychic Energy there. I've got more than enough Psychic Energies. Um, I am going to throw this down just in case. Then I am going to Roxanne. Oh, no, no, no. I've done that wrong, haven't I? I wanted them to have a big hand. I'm going to have to do it a different way. I only had the one in there as well. I have got enough psychic energy, but I can't do... I've had to use that up. Can't believe I've had to do this. Um, if I do 30 to this, they can't use anything. Let's do a little nibble. They can't do anything now except for attacking. Right. Now, I should have done this when he had a big hand and knocked it out. As that goes. 
A, a, zo a sorry, a, a Zubat. That's 100. Okay, so now we can one-shot me next turn, which is a problem. Okay. Let's do it a comfy. Need that. Jet. Oh my god, I think I'm really messed up here. You can only do 120 to him with the binet. Right? I can only attach one energy to this. And it would have been enough, but it's not. Um, that's all I can do. Can't believe this. Oh, I've messed up big time. I bet everyone was screaming down at the video. Why are you rock signing? I, you could have nuked this Masquerade by now. Yes, I know. I know. I was looking for something and I didn't think. And I'm being silly. And I was being a silly Billy. So if he kills this... Okay, that's good. That's good. He'll get a prize there. And he'll get one. We're still behind, though. But I need to put this up and put this up. Right, so I've got some energies and stuff like that. That's cool. So I'm going to put that there. Then I am going to chorus. I need this. I need this. And I guess that. Okay. Um, I might have to fill the deck full of energy, though, to be fair. Just so that I don't deck out next turn. So, you have to go. So that. No, I don't want that. Then I want to super ride back in. Uh, energy, psychic, and a cram. So then I can attack next turn as well. Then I can do lost impact. I'm going to take out one of the jet energy. Love you, Bennett. And one of the grass energy. Take that out. That's two prizes there. And that's a T now. Right. Now, what I am thinking about doing is... Iona. Oh, I was going to do a Psychic onto the Stable Eye. Switch. Oh, I can still do it. Do, yeah, that'll probably be it. That'll be checkmate then. Oh, extra two. Did you get anything good? Oh, that stops me. That does stop me from doing something there. I could knock it out though with... I knew I had that.
Lost Mind. Uh, it's going to be 40, 30, 20, and then they concede. Yeah. I know, I know, I misplayed, I misplayed. Yeah. But it still wins such an amazing day. I'll see you in the next part. See you then. Right, so third match, and this is the th third match in a row uh, with, like, no changing, no nothing. I've already won two matches. Um, so it's it's crazy good. It's crazy good. It's crazy good. Now, I don't know what we're still going against at the minute, so I am going to hold this off. Well, that's an easy choice, isn't it? Uh, I'm going to put the energy on here. And I'm going to bench another one just in case. I am a bit worried about them killing one of these. And then I've got no Tina next. But we'll see. So that's an Arvin. There's a Manaphy. It's probably a Charizard. A Bow Charizard. Guarantee there's a, Char there's a Charmander and a Bidoof coming down. <laughs> what a guess. I did do that a few times during UIC. Like, I said to him, uh, I was playing against somebody from uh, America, and he was, and I went, you're going to do this, this, and this, aren't you? And he goes, how did you know that? I went, because that's exactly what I would do. And he did exactly what I said he was going to do. Um, having that Charmeleon is a little bit of a nightmarish. So let's just do this. Oh, I really want that screw it though, because it could item lock, but it won't stop him. I think I'm gonna have to go no for the screw bit. Go yes for the. The Green Ninja could get me more draw. I'd have to use up a jet. I can't boss anything up though. And I'm currently at two. Like sand and everything else. I need more draw. Don't want to do it this way. Right, okay. So that's another comfy. And then I can body puff in for shrew it and then i'm going to end the turn that's really bad actually to be fair don't feel i should have got rid of that jet should have jetted up another one done that but i wouldn't have found these so i don't know having the rock sign over the chorus is a bit annoying um but they're going to set up better than me now so then I'm going to have to play catch up. If only I had a prime catcher to hand and a core, if, if I had a chorus in hand, found a, a cram, put a cram down, put two more into the lost zone and prime catchered, I could have knocked out that Charmeleon before I was knocked out by, before they could do this. If some butts were coconuts, I'd have a lot of coconuts. Right, so that's two energies back in. Uh, and that's a boss, and he's going to take out that. I might have to just do an Abyss Seeking, just so I can get more into the Lost Zone. The way it's going at the minute, I might have to. Oh, I've got to switch. Yeah. Let's see what we get. Finally, where have you been all my life? Can't get rid of that. Can't get rid of that. 
Ananita. I'm going to check now. And that. I'm at. Five. Seven. If I check this up. Last select puts me at six. I need that. I definitely need a star reckon I'm. I'm almost at the seven. That's really annoying. Um could just let him take the two prizes and do an abyss seeking, and I think I will. I will. What have I got on the board? Put that in there. And I put that in there. Alright. And what did I get? Well, I need that. And I need that. I you know it was sacrifice. I'm willing to do the sacrifice. If he doesn't get a Charizard down can do something but he's gonna get a charge Char charmander down now he's gonna get a buddy buddy puffin odds are um but i could do uh, i've got some switches left how many switches does he use oh is there three switches four jets so I've used two switches already. Right. So I haven't got many switches left. And he's got a full hand. So I could probably maybe one shot this with the Bennett. But a lot of it's one or two is going to be Pokemon. It needs to be six item cards in their hand for me to knock it out with the Bennett EX. And that's definitely going to be a Pokemon that. So it's not going to be worth it. And what is because you could probably check what he's put in. So you put that, that, and that. So that's a TM evolution and an S ball. He's using an Ultra Ball. He got rid of a them, which is annoying. Okay. Have that down. And I've already lost one Tina. Yeah. He's going to do a Burning Darkness, take two prizes. Okay. Okay, we're still good at the minute, and uh, we're still Gucci, we are still Gucci, we're still Gucci, we're still Gucci, we're still Gucci. I will be at 10 in a minute, okay, awesome. Uh, and before I do that, what could I nest ball for? Don't really want anything. Could get screw it, uh, stabilized out actually. Let's do a chorus. Need that. Can't get rid of any of them. Then, if I start reckoning him, he could re respond. I'd like to do a switch out, but I can't. Do uh, stabilize. Gotta talk out to there. Then Charizard. But uh, this could be difficult. Let's draw some more. Get rid of one of these psychics. Just comfy in the boss. Alright. Alright. And I have got an iron leaves here.
What have I got left in the deck? I have got a Bennett EX and a Switch and a Prime Catcher. So I'm going to go for you. Then I am going to put that on you. Then I'm going to do Star Reckon them. Take two prizes there. Right. And he's going to have a Charizard next. So then maybe I could do Iron Leaves. Knock that out. Or if I could find a Bennett, I could do that as well. Right, he's got a 70 HP down. Oh, that's... A bit tempting. Uh, did I do that? Would that work? Yeah. And that's rare candy, Charizard, fossil stone, Charizard. I just need to make sure I've got a psychic energy in here for Burnett. And swing out to attach to it, and then we'll be good. got rid of that two prizo liability as well uh i'll get rid of the greninja super hard should i have benched that stable eye well even if i didn't it still would have been a problem Wait a minute. If I do 280 to this, it will leave it with 50 HP left. I could do it. Do you see what I'm thinking of? Um, one psychic energy left. It's going to have to go into you. Would like to boss if I KO that and do that. That on the screw bit. Have I got something in the deck though? All I had was I just did a Marge go, I didn't see, I didn't check the deck. Do a switch. So I do a lot of impact to that. I can't do anything else. Uh, I can't do an iron lose to knock it out. But I could do a screw it and swing house. So. All or nothing. Can't do an iron leaves. If he doesn't evolve this Charmander, 
So I checkmate him here. Good. Let's put one of them down. You. Take that out. That's two prizes. Wonder if I've got any jets left in the deck. There's two there. One there. I, I have one still in the deck. Oh, it's prized. I know I've prized some energy. He can knock this out and take two prizes, yeah? Oh, the Silene. <laughs> right. Now. Right. We've got a switch, so we can do something here. Fortunately, I've got no grass energy to do an iron leaves because it's all... So I've got that there. I've got no more super rods to put it back in. But I should have more. I have prized loads of energy. I think I've prized three energies, three grass energies. So if I knock this out and then knock that out, then what can I knock out next? That's the problem. He's got to select his prizes now. So, if I go stable eye, he will have more in his hand. I have no energy left. I'll have to put a comfy up and see what's in the deck and then do a nest ball. I found the nest ball. Put a comfy up. He's got to have more than five trainers up there. Because he hasn't put another Padoof down. Let's have a look what's in the deck. Burnett and a Jet. I need to pull a Jet. Yeah. So that'll be two prizes, three prizes with a stable eye. And he's conceded. I think you realised what I was going to do. Uh, you saw what I was going to do. And I think I'm going to end it there. Uh, thank you all for watching. And comment down below what you think about this deck. Because I think I'm going to be a Bonnet EX Lostina all the way. And I will catch you on the next video. See you then. Right, so, as you saw, um, yeah, this deck is disgusting. Even if I misplay like anything, and you'll see in the third match and second match, and I still win, it's just, it's disgusting. And I love it, and I so wish I brought this to UIC. So, comment down below. Let me know what you think of this deck. Are you going to be using it? Also... Uh, what decks are you going to be using and what are you looking forward to in the next tournament that's coming up? I don't know when, when it, I think it's Orlando. And yeah, I will catch you on the next one. See you.